Ducks in a Row by Jackie Urbanovic. Max sat down. He put up his feet. He leaned back in his chair. Oh yes, he said. It's nice to relax. Max looked around. Brody was bringing in the newspaper. Dakota was warming Irene's feet. Bibi was singing the kittens to sleep. Everyone had something to do. Everyone except him. Hmm, said Max. What do I do around here? Sometimes he baked snacks, but he wondered if everyone liked them. Does anyone need me to do anything? Max asked. No one answered. Just then, the doorbell rang. I'll get it, yelled Max. On the step stood three plump ducks in a row. Aunt Pat, Aunt Dot, Aunt Flo, said Max. Max, could you take my bag, said Aunt Pat. And my bundle, said Aunt Dot. And my box, said Aunt Flo. Of course, said Max. Max's aunts told everyone they were on their way to South. They had stopped to visit until the first snowfall. The aunts sat down on the couch. Max, could you make me some tea, said Aunt Pat. With toast, said Aunt Dot. And jam, said Aunt Flo. Max set to work. It felt good to be needed. Lucky for Max, the aunts needed him quite a bit. They needed him to bring their books and find their glasses. They needed him to turn on their lamps. They needed him to run their baths, to fluff their pillows, and close their curtains. By the end of the day, Max was a little tired, but it felt good to be needed. The next morning started early. Max, could you open this jar, said Aunt Pat. And untangle this yarn, said Aunt Dot. And fix this toaster, said Aunt Flo. The rest of the week, all Max heard was, Max, could you? Turn on the TV, pop some popcorn, change the channel, shuffle the cards, roll the dice, keep the score, pick the pumpkin, pick the apple, pick some flowers. Max went out to the garden. He wasn't sure how much more he needed he could take. Then he felt something, a snowflake, the first snowfall, he said. The very next day, Max said goodbye to Aunt Pat, Aunt Dot, and Aunt Flo. He was so tired he could hardly wave. Max sat down and put his feet up. He leaned back in his chair. Oh yes, he said, it's nice to relax. Then he heard Irene's voice. Max, could you? Oh no, Max thought. Max, could you use a blanket, said Irene. Max nodded. And he fell fast asleep.